Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe, episode 55. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 100 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2CrazyKetos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. Tiger King. <laughs> Netflix. You're welcome. Well, you're saying you're welcome. We need to say Thank you. Well, absolutely, but we've got to pass it on. Yeah, so, okay, if you're new to our channel, we do live streams every Thursday. It used to be at 9.30 Eastern time. Now it's going to be at 8.30 Eastern time, which we'll talk about more later. We're old and we need to go to bed earlier. So we were on our live stream this past week and somebody brought up Tiger King. I want to say it's Heath and Shelly. Yeah, I think they brought it up and then a bunch of other people jumped in. And we were like, we'd never heard of it, but we were intrigued. Tigers, any any kind of like reality show, weird people watching, that's like our deal. Train wrecks you can't look away from. <laughs> like, yeah, Jerry Springer, but clean version, right? You just, we want to see like, this isn't us. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like we do a lot of things wrong, but we ain't going this far. So we finished up the live stream and we go in and lay in a bed and um, Rachel's like, what are we going to watch? I'm like, hey, let's watch the Tiger King. And Rachel's like, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be really interested. I'm like, let's give it one episode. Seven episodes later, yes, I'm all in. <laughs> it was so good. In fact, I was like very upset that it was over. So we watched like two and a half episodes on Thursday night. We fell asleep halfway through the third episode. Friday, watch the rest of it. Now we're like, what now? Yeah. Here's my question. For those of you who have seen Tiger King, I have two questions. Yes. Number one, did she do it? Did she kill her husband? I think she killed her husband. I want to know everybody else's opinion. For all of you who have watched Tiger King, and if you haven't, I don't know what you're doing. Go watch Tiger King. Go watch Tiger King. Come back. But, yeah, we told Anthony and Sarah about it last night. They put it on and couldn't stop watching it. Their date night was watching Tiger, Tiger King. Tiger King's. I think everybody's date night is Tiger King now. So let us know down in the comment section if you think she did it. That's number one. And number two, do you think... Ooh, coffee's ready. Okay, well, I'll finish the statement, then we'll get coffee. Do you think that the Tiger King actually plotted to kill her? Did he actually hire that guy to kill her? Or was he set up by everybody else trying to take his zoo? That's my question. Because personally... I think he was set up. I think he's guilty of things. And I think the biggest thing that he's guilty of is His being mouth. an idiot. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I think that he would be living his best life right now if it wasn't for the fact that he had, like, so much hatred toward this woman. Yeah. He couldn't, ha like, forgive her and just move on with his life. I felt like the whole series was about let stuff go yeah. don't be angry and hateful towards people like hate is going to do more damage to you than it is going to be to the person that you hate i feel like i'm in a group text message again and here's another thing let us let us know down below how many of you hate it when you get put into group text messages and then all day long people are answering the group text message? Or worse, they're just hearting the group text message. Then and then like, all ding, day ding, long, ding, your ding. phone, your watch. For us, because we have you know Apple devices, like you'll hear it. Like it's first start to the phone, then it's the watch, watch then it's iPad. my computer, my iPad. It's like ding, 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 ding. It's awful. Coffee. Coffee. We'll be right back. Okay coffee now everything is better everything is better but wait i gotta put this down we got while we're doing coffee gotta talk about this this is the creamer that we love to put in our coffee we don't use heavy cream anymore we use this it's got really good ingredients three tablespoons three tablespoons for a serving only 50 calories and depending on the flavor it's less than one carb i always figure i'm putting one carb in every time I add a serving, which is what you should be doing if you're using heavy cream. Figure it's one carb. Yeah. But it's less carbs 
per tablespoon than anything else you're going to add to your coffee. Even if you're adding like uh, your perf- your collagen, right? Or if you're adding like me, I like to use MCT powder for flavor and stuff. So this is going to give you less carbs. We love this stuff, and I like this on the road. The super coffee. These. Super. I'm very upset that this flavor is gone now until Christmas time again. I tried to order some more, all gone. But we have finally become affiliates. A lot of people have asked us over and over, do you guys have a coupon code for them? Are you affiliates with them? Because I know a lot of people like to buy it. So if you can't find it in your local store, which a lot of times you can find it in local stores, Mm -hmm. but they have a lot of sales all the time, which you don't have as many sales in the local stores. Right. Uh, For example, they just did 30% off all the seasonal flavors to kind of blow them out. I don't think we said their name. It's Kai Tu. Oh yeah, Kai Tu, right? So I'm going to leave a link down below. We are finally affiliates with them. So if you do want to order something online, especially with your whole with the whole shut in thing and everything else, if you want to order online, uh, use the link down below. If you use that link, it does help support the channel a little Thank bit. Thank you guys. They also gave us a coupon code, but it's a one time only coupon code. So the coupon code is Two Crazy Ketos. It will get you twenty percent off on your order. But again, they have sales all the time i've seen sales as much as 50 percent off so i would join their mailing list so you get notified and this way you're notified you know they'll send out text notifications email notifications about all kinds of sales and stuff they're so yummy so yeah coffee and then while we're talking about coffee there's a new product on the market for dipping in your coffee yes so I'm going to leave a link right up here over Rachel's head. These came out today. Launching. We were fortunate enough to be sent some ahead of time. Right. So they sent us these last week. Didn't even know they were coming. We talked about it in that video. They have double chocolate and... Chocolate chip. And that's my favorite. This is Rachel's favorite one. Yeah. So these are perfect keto cookies. Incredible ingredients. We did a full review. Uh, the only reason I brought them out is they are really good for dunking in the coffee. But I wanted to uh, mention that they're doing a launch sale because they came out today. If you're seeing this keto on the couch on the day that it's launched, um, they came out today. And uh, there's a launch special this whole week through April 3rd. It's 15% off if you buy one box, 20% off if you buy two boxes, 30% off if you buy three boxes. uh, And you need to use the link down below. If you use that link down below, that will automatically put... Uh, the discount into your cart for buying the cookies. They're really good. They are really good. So uh, what I really like about them is they are shelf stable. What I really like them is they don't just taste like a bomb of almond, almond flour, flour and, and a Ritz 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 Well, a lot of the keto cookies and stuff like that, you know, most of that stuff isn't shelf stable. So it's nice that you can have them on the shelf and you don't have to worry about them like going bad within two weeks. Now, don't overdo it. We're not telling everybody to eat, you know, 20 cookies every single well, day. Well, I feel like I'm safer with this than I am to make a batch of cookies and have them in my house. Like, yeah. Kind of like our beef jerky? Yes. Oh, my goodness. I've eaten so much beef jerky. <laughs> I'm wondering if you guys have tried the beef jerky recipe. Mm-hmm. Who made what? Let us know if you've made our beef jerky. So we put up the other day. A recipe on how to make beef jerky. I'll leave a link over Rachel's head. So um, good. But it came out really good. And it teaches you how to make keto beef jerky two different ways. So you can use either traditional like lean steak, like, you know, top round or something like that. Or you can use ground beef. Well, and the great thing about the ground recipe is you can use any kind of ground meat. We made it with ground turkey. We made it with ground chicken. Bison lamb the bison i think is the best one because bison is already very lean and you want to use a lean ground meat when you're especially when you're doing ground you want to use lean and it's really really good and if you leave off the spices we've been making some treats for the dog i don't want to say her name because she's laying like right there and as soon as you say her name she's gonna be like yes right but yeah it's been nice to have treats for her you know in a pinch because we can't go out and get into all of the, you know, pet supply stores right now. Yeah. You can just get some, you know, ground beef, make it into a thing. Don't even add a lot of spice. You don't have to add any spice or anything like that. And just kind of lay it all out on a sheet or put it through your jerky gun. 
and then, you know, have it prepared and break it into little tiny pieces. And it's a great treat if you're trying to train your dog or if you're used to going and buying those expensive things. Well, and it doesn't have a lot of garbage fillers in it. It's yeah. It's just meat. So I love it. The, she does too. The other thing that we did, and now that I finally have got some bacon, uh, is you can, we've made bacon jerky in our dehydrator. It's so good. Which is really good. And that is literally just take some bacon. You can sprinkle a little bit of like brown sugar swerve on the top if you want and just put it in your dehydrator and let it go. And it becomes this nice chewy bacon. Now that is purse bacon. So we're talking about beef jerky uh -huh. and that's something that we ate a lot of this week. Yes, we did. What are some other things that we ate this week? So this week was a lot of fun with food because we're home, which by the way, I'm enjoying being home. I mean, hey, I kind of miss like going out and stuff, but it's nice to be able to just have some time with you and having the kids home a lot. It's been mean, really nice. Anthony's girlfriend's been coming over a lot because she's family as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. So yeah, that whole thing, like nobody but family. She's family. We're keeping it under 10 people. We're keeping it under 10. Well, we're keeping it at five. So. Yeah. But yes, it's been nice with everybody being here. We've been playing around with different recipes that we could make for us trying to keep like all of like our carb counts really low, not going out. We've also been trying to experiment with different things that we could make for you guys for our channel. So it's been fun. One day we made the keto lasagna. I got like half a piece of that. Yeah, I think we had a half a serving and the kids devoured it because that stuff is amazing. It really I, is. It's amazing to me the way that just takes the consistency. You're using turkey and it just, while well, you're eating it, it's it's like you swear you're eating noodles and oh, you're yeah. not eating any noodles. It's amazing how versatile it is. It really just reminds you of regular lasagna. And I'm telling you, the average person, when you give it to them, you don't tell them there's no noodles in there. They don't even know. Well, speaking of stuff that can be disguised, we did the Strong Sisters carnivore tacos. Yes, we did. That was amazing. We made those yesterday. And they fooled my mind too. They were amazing. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but so they came out with this recipe because I know they're taco. coming out with a book on like basically cooking everything carnivore. But this was nothing more than chicken and eggs, egg whites, and salt. And I made it all up and it becomes like a pancake batter. Mm -hmm. And I put them out, we made them on the Blackstone. I made a whole batch of them and it was amazing. Now we didn't have complete carnivore tacos because we just put a couple of sprigs of lettuce guacamole. and some guacamole and salsa. some salsa on there. And then, you know, we used my taco seasoning, which I'll leave a link for that recipe down below. Which we just make a giant batch of taco seasoning, which I'm actually out of. I need to make some more. Uh oh. And we scooped that ground beef inside of these taco shells and they were amazing. You really, so good. it brought you back to eating regular soft tacos. And yeah, like you said, the, the chicken with the salt and the eggs, it kind of fools your mind. And it's almost got a little bit of a hint of a flavor of eating a soft corn tortilla. Well, and it made for a really nice date night. Yes. Because we're going to have to theme it out around the house because mm -hmm. you're everyone's stuck inside. So you want to kind of experiment with different things just to change it up, make being at home more interesting. I'd be interested to see... What are some of the different recipes you guys are experimenting with at home since you're home more? Right. What are you making? What yeah, you eating? Because for us, 99% of the time, I feel like we eat burgers or ground beef and eggs and bacon. We have, we have bacon pretty much every single day. Yes. But, you know, it is nice to break it up because usually, you know, I don't mind eating burgers and ground beef and bacon and eggs every day because I love that stuff. Yes, and so do. do you. Yeah. But when you're stuck at home a lot more, I want something to break up the routine because right now, like, it's nice that we're home, but I don't feel as active and right. I'm sitting in front of the computer a lot more. We were talking about it the other day, like I'm getting a lot more eye strain, like staring at the computer, doing video editing. So you want to break things up a little bit. Well, do you miss running around on the field? I definitely miss running around on the field. And I miss like kind of just being out of the house, though we are still going and doing our shopping and stuff like that. Like, you know, we went and did all of our runarounds the other day, which that was in our blog. But it it's just nice to be getting some fresh air other than just sitting on the patio to go do that stuff. 
but I do miss running up and down the lacrosse field and stuff and seeing yeah. all of the teenagers and the high school kids and interacting with them because I have a good time when I interact with them on the field. I like to oh, joke yeah. around with them and I, especially in lacrosse. Lacrosse, it's a very unique community and the kids and the coaches, they all have a lot of fun with it. I mean, it's not as aggressive as some of the other sports like football and stuff. So do you think that they will postpone the games and, and you'll see them get played in the summer or you think it's worse, the season's done? I, I No, I think the season is done because they even, the local superintendent even said that pretty much right now he's figuring the kids here aren't going back to school this year and possibly even into the fall where they may be doing virtual school in the fall. And that's what the local superintendent for Broward County said. So I don't anticipate any lacrosse this season. It just bums me out. I feel so badly for like the seniors mm -hmm. that are kind of missing out on all of the festivities. There's right. a lot of brides that are having to, you know, postpone weddings or, you know, just elope <laughs> right now. There's a bunch of Facebook weddings happening. I'm seeing a lot of people getting married on Facebook. That's at least kind of fun, but you know, it's not what you planned. Right. And, and that's kind of disheartening. Now, one thing that we do like to do to break it up is watch different shows like you were talking about, like with Tiger King, but I'm out of shows. Help us. So help us out. Let us know down in the comments. We need some more shows to binge watch. Here's the parameters. They have to be more than seven episodes because seven episodes, that was like we did that in a day. We need something that's 20 or 30 episodes, preferably multiple seasons. Maybe we need to pace ourselves a little better. Like five, six, seven, maybe 15 seasons. Oh my gracious. <laughs> War and peace. We plan on just living in our bedroom. We'll live in the bedroom. Well, we have a lot going on. You have actually just agreed to do something new. In an effort to get out of the house, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm going to be working out at 5.30 in the morning with somebody in our neighborhood. There's a lot of different, um, you know, uh, gyms that are putting out videos. Yeah. And so I'm going to be utilizing one that this young lady has subscribed to. She said, hey, we could work out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we could just go for long walks or jogs. And I was like, okay, hold on. If I show up to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing for more than a week, I'll be super proud of myself. But yeah. I'm proud of you for even agreeing to this because every time I've mentioned doing any kind of exercise, you're like, ah, oh, no. And I haven't followed through with the resistance bands like I wanted to. So I think maybe I just need the accountability of working out with another person. Because if it's just me, I will talk myself out of working out. I know I need to get into doing some working out. I need to get out because... Uh, we've talked about it. Scale's not agreeing with me right now. I'm eating less calories than I was before. So for me, the only thing that I'm looking at is I'm so used to all of the running. You know, for those lacrosse games, we were running three to five miles per game. Yeah. And having multiple games per day, you know, between running and walking up down the field. And it's catching up to me, even though I'm eating less calories. So I need to get some exercise. I need to get out of the house. I'm going to start doing, maybe we can do some walks together or bike riding, get back on the resistance bands. I was even about thinking about calling the guy who used to train me when I was doing the CrossFit and seeing if he can give me some stuff to do like at home because he used to have me do things like invisible weights, like with just a PVC bar and yeah. doing pushes and stuff. You could move your arms at the end of that. It is amazing how much using your own weight can work you out. Right. It hurts too. <laughs> <laughs> so we made last night for dinner on as the dessert for our carnivore tacos. Carrie Brown ice cream. We made the Carrie Brown peanut butter ice cream. It's in her ice cream recipe book. It was so good. Which we did an interview with Carrie a while back during our 12 days of Christmas. I'll leave a link for that over Rachel's head. It's really interesting. It is. And there's a link down below for her for her cookbooks. But we made that peanut butter ice cream and it was so delicious. Now it calls for creamy ice cream. I mean, creamy peanut butter, but we used crunchy, but I kind of liked it. Yeah, it, it did have that nice thing. Now, the one thing about it was, is you did have to prepare the, like the actual mixture, like eight hours ahead of time. You're supposed to put it in the refrigerator and let it sit. And she's like, do not skip that step. But 
There's no cooking, which is a lot of ice creams. You have to make a custard and I temper like the eggs. That you don't have to cook. Yeah, that's a little bit beyond what Rachel is capable of. Tempering eggs is a difficult thing to begin with. Yeah. So the recipes themselves are very easy. Some of the things are made stuff ahead of time, like she's like we have to make like a bacon ripple or something like that. But it was really good. Very few ingredients. Very creamy. Now we used allulose instead of xylitol because of our doggy. Yeah. And we actually use less than even you're supposed to. And I thought it had a very it nice sweet very flavor. Sweet. But it was really, really good. Good serving size. And well, that's what I was going to mention. So when I was looking at the recipe, I don't remember how many she said it served. But I want to say it was like a ridiculous number, like 20. And I was like, what is a serving? Like one spoon? Because it only called for two cups of hemp milk and a half a cup of heavy cream. So that's not going to make like a tremendous amount. Which, side note, if you are looking for different milks and stuff, hemp milk and like macadamia milk. That's available in a lot of stores. I am it's, seeing it. Because it's the cardboard containers that are like on the shelves, like yeah. the shelf-stable milks. So when I looked at it, I'm like, how much is in a serving? And then there's a little notation in the bottom of the recipe, which, by the way, I'll leave a link for the recipe down below because that is one of her free recipes mm -hmm. also. But there was a note saying that this is very filling. You won't be able to eat a lot. And I'm like, who mm, are you kidding? You don't, you don't know me. You don't know how much ice cream we can eat. It's very filling. It was. I was super satisfied. So I want to say we ended up with probably a half a gallon of ice cream. Maybe a little bit less. No, I wouldn't say a half gallon. Probably like, I don't know. A smaller pint. container. No, not a pint. More than a pint, but not as much as a half gallon. Okay. We each had two scoops. I used an ice cream scooper. We each had two scoops. I basic, I weighed it out. I weighed out what we had to start with. And then I weighed it out at the end. And we started off with, it was like 980 grams. Wow. So I divided it into 10. I'm glad he's in charge of this because I'm just like, I'm scooping. Like, boom, <laughs> done. No, I gave us exact measurements. We had the exact same amount each. Okay. So I weighed it out and I divided what her thing was into 10, which made it under 200 calories. It was a little bit high in total carbs being somewhere around like 14 or 15 total carbs because of the treat. allulose. But it was low in net carbs. It was only like one net carb. But it was Friday. Not even, I don't even think it was one net carb. But it was really, really good and very filling, even though you only had like two scoops. Yeah. It was very filling. I was super satisfied. And y'all know I'm a girl that can eat. Now, we ate it right out of the ice cream maker. But I put the rest into the freezer. And this morning, you can still scoop it. It's not even. It, I mean, obviously, you'd want to let it sit for just a couple seconds. Did you taste test it? Maybe. <laughs> but you can still scoop it it's not as hard as like some of the store-bought ones yeah. it's it's still like harder you know how keto ice creams get but yeah brick. the allulose and stuff it it's scoopable it's not like a bunch of ice milk or like just like a big block so i'm looking forward to just having it as a little bit of treat and i'm looking forward to trying some of the other recipes because there's oh, like a too. bacon one in there i want that there's a uh, pecan praline one or something like that in there there's some really good looking recipes in that book so butter pecan about was that. my groove i love butter pecan ice cream now to wrap up the food that we had this week we did finally find pork belly we've got to give a shout out to joe in our facebook family group who yes. actually pointed us in the direction of some meat that was available yeah so we were talking about in our live stream the other day that yeah couldn't find any pork belly. I'd gone to Costco. They didn't have any pork belly. And Joe lives probably about 15, 20 miles south of us. And he was like, hey, the Costco down here in Pembroke Pines, they have pork belly. So Anthony and I jumped in the car yesterday, ran down there. We got some pork belly. So I'm good now. Like crisis is averted. All is right with the world. I've got bacon going. And so we've been, because we eat bacon almost every single day. Yeah. But we were talking about that in our vlog, which if you haven't seen that, we did a full day of eating vlog. I'll leave a, rest, a link for that over Rachel's head because in there, that's the other thing we ate this week is we had wings. We had like wings at home. Yeah. Well, we wanted Buffalo Wild Wings, but we couldn't even get through. So many people are, you know, using that 
you know, Tuesday, Buy one, get one free where you can order it at home right now. And we tried to get it on Tuesday. I think they actually took their phone off the hook. You couldn't even go online to order. It kept saying like online wasn't working. I drove by and they're like, yeah, you have to order it here. But I'm like, I don't want to wait 30 to 45 minutes in the parking lot for the wings. So we have some wings in the freezer, just raw chicken wings that are all chopped up. So we made those. And had one night we had those that was part of the vlog. We had yep. the, the wings with burgers and eggs, and that delicious. was a delicious dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about some comments. Do we have a subscriber of the week? No, we do not have a subscriber of the week. Um, nobody's put their transformation story on our website or online. We want to hear what's going on with your life. So if you're new to our channel, we do have a Facebook family group. It's a nice support group. There's like 2,000 people in there. People putting up recipes, especially at this time. Like, you know, we talk about, like, they say social distance, but don't socially isolate yourself. No. Now more than any, just like we talked about in the video the other day, of 10 ways that will help you stay keto even when you're stressed. Yeah. Stay connected. You have to stay connected. Whether it be, you know, like going on the phone and calling family members, maybe connecting with some, like, people you went to high school with, or getting on social media and just staying positive like talking to some different people that way and it's okay to have celebrations during this time i mean obviously it's a very somber time and people are struggling with different things but if you have something to celebrate don't be afraid to celebrate it we want to celebrate your successes and there's successes and happy things going on right now and we right. don't want to just push pause on life altogether and say oh well i'll celebrate that later no if you're having a victory right now non-skilled victory or, or not, we want to celebrate the win. Yeah, so go into our Facebook family group. We ask you, put your story in there. Put some before and after pictures. Put like where you were. Maybe talk about things that have happened to you that you couldn't do before, whether it be like playing with your kids or yeah. we used to talk about like going on amusement rides, although you're not doing that right now, where you couldn't fit in a seat before and now you can, or being able to go for walks that you couldn't go for or fit in clothes that you couldn't fit oh, in before. absolutely. We want to celebrate that. Yeah. And share your story because whatever you're going through right now, there is somebody else who is having that struggle. So, you know, people look at us all the time. They're like, well, they don't know what it was like. They weren't fat. We were fat. Take a look at our story video. We were both obese. So we like to share our story, which is why we started this channel, because we are hoping to inspire somebody else. Because believe me, if we could do it, Anybody you can definitely do can it. can lose weight. So please go on our Facebook family group, share your story. If you don't have Facebook, that's okay. You can send us your story to stories at Two Crazy Ketos. We do have comments. And I did pull a bunch of comments, both from uh, last week's Keto on the Couch, as well as from Facebook, because there were some good questions All like, right. on our Facebook family group. So we're going to start off with Diane. Hi, Diane. And Diane just said, Rachel, your dark hair is beautiful on you. Oh. I love watching the two of you. Thank you so much. Wow, that's so encouraging. TC's life, right? Hey, TC. I love that view. It beats the snow in my front yard. So they were talking about us sitting on the patio. Oh, yeah. Sorry for everybody that maybe is like dealing with some gloomy cold weather on top of everything else that they're dealing with but yeah sunshine it's yeah. a thing here it's it, it's gone from like being in the mid 60s to being in the mid 80s to low 90s which now it's fighting the whole thing with the air conditioner because we are so used to those mid to high 60s that now when the house is 74 degrees, we're all like, it's really hot. And everyone's like, turn on the air conditioner. I'm like, do not turn on the air conditioner. Well, we just skipped spring altogether and went straight to summer. Yeah, so there's no like easing into the warm weather. It was cool or cool for us to And then super it's hot. hot. Speaking of the patio, we did try to film this on the patio. And all of a sudden, for some reason, the camera shut off. So we had to redo part of it. And then when we went to go back out there, like our neighbors are out on their patio, like shouting and stuff. So I would much rather be out there. I like the atmosphere sitting on the patio. It's just relaxing. So now that the spring and the summer are here, we are going to try to do keto on the couch out on the patio more. As much as we can. The other thing is, is Anthony and Sarah are about to go out there and pressure wash. I know. I'm so excited. Talk about like boredom. They're like, hey. We're really bored. Could we go pressure wash the house for you? Um, yes. I'm like, uh, you mean you want to go out time. and clean for us? You, you can paint the house too if want you want. to do a chore. We'd love that. <laughs> 
Time to Shrink wrote, Hey, Time to Shrink. Y'all are always so reassuring and very calming to me. You're always positive, always encouraging. We all need it in this time. I love you both so much. Well, we love you too. And thank you for, you know, hanging out with us and spending time with us. And I mean, there's so much stuff that you could be, you know, watching. And we appreciate you for investing. We really do appreciate it. Uh, Cheryl wrote, Hey, Cheryl. Rachel, you just made me cry. Your comment to all of us out there. When I see you, I see beauty. I've been maintaining my keto weight loss for two and a half years now. I've gained about five to seven pounds, but I don't overstress about it since my weight fluctuates daily. What touched me the most about your comment was thinking that even though I see I'm a lot thinner, having just lost over a hundred pounds, I don't see beauty. I just see a thinner version of myself. Oh my goodness. Well, that makes me a little bit sad because I want you to see beauty. I also want you to see somebody that's hugely victorious. Did you hear that line that you have lost a hundred pounds? I mean, and that you've maintained keeping off a, a big hunk of that. I struggle with like the five pound to 10 pound, you know, it creeps back up and then goes back down. But that is a huge overall loss. It's a big loss and it's something that you should be proud of. Yes. And I, I know what you're going through because this is something that I go through. I mean, especially right now, I'm up some pounds. I'm not happy about it. And I have to constantly keep reminding myself, like you lost a hundred pounds. Yeah. So what if right now it's only 95 pounds? You still lost a hundred pounds, over a hundred pounds. I, and it is, it's hard to, to see that scale going up, but we have to be positive with ourselves. Otherwise, we're just going to end up in that never ending spiral of hating ourselves more and more and more and more, which causes us to eat more and more and more and more and more and get into that like never ending cycle. I see a rock star. That's what I see. So from our Facebook group, Stephanie wrote, Hey, Stephanie. I uh, thought I would share this, a PSA. Every few days, try on your jeans just to make sure they still fit. Pajamas will have you believe that all is well in the kingdom. I know. Seriously, <laughs> that was part of our, um, you know, how to stay keto even under stress, right? Yes. Was get dressed. Yeah. Don't just wear pajama pants as a uniform because, yes, you will expand Stretch to out. those pants. Nita wrote. Hey, Nita. I love your channel and your positive spirit. And I agree with you. I was just telling a colleague the same thing the other day. People are being extra nice in the stores. A simple smile goes a long way. And again, thank you. I'm wishing nothing but peace and success for your family. Well, thank you, Nita. Same to you. Oh my goodness. Yes. I love when you get to share that smile or just a quick conversation with a stranger. It means so much. And let's just keep it up because I feel like people are starting to get a little bit somber now. Yeah. When we went to Aldi, like we said in the vlog, it, it was like people are afraid to talk. Yeah, it's gone from Suddenly. everybody being really friendly to stand your distance. Don't come near me. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Don't breathe in my direction. Well, I don't know if it's that or if it's a case of people are getting used to being by themselves. And the, and the longer you are out of practice a good point. in talking to people, like the easier it is for you to just not talk to people or you see people, but it's like you're, it's like they're not there. Right. So over on Facebook, Jackie asks. Hey, Jackie. Does anybody use Perfect Keto base pills? Do they help anyone burn fat? Okay, so the Perfect Keto base pills are basically exogenous ketones. And I did answer on Facebook, but I wanted to say it here because I think this is important. We love Perfect Keto. Absolutely. We're affiliated with them. They're a big supporter of this channel and you guys support them, which we appreciate. It's the best way you can support our channel is by using our affiliate links down below. We think they have great products. They do have exogenous ketones. They're not needed. I mean, exogenous ketones serve a purpose. They will give you a little bit of energy. They will help you get through the keto flu, not because they're magic, but because they're going to give you some ketones, which will give your body some energy. They're also bound to electrolytes, which helps you you know, pull up your electrolytes while you're going through the keto flu. And it helps let your body know like, hey, ketones are okay for you. Right. They're not going to make you lose or burn any more fat. They're not a magic thing where like you can go eat a bunch of carbs and take these pills and no. poof, you're back in ketosis. Do not do that. What's going to happen is, yes, technically you're in ketosis. You can go eat a Hershey's bar and then 
take some exogenous ketones. And go pee on that strip. And pee on the strip, and you will technically be in ketosis. You will have ketones in your system from the exogenous ketones, and you will be utilizing ketones for energy because your body will prefer them. However, you're not creating ketones, which is what happens when your body is converting fat to ketones. Therefore, you're not going to be losing any more fat because your body's got ketones from eating them. It doesn't need to create them. Sorry, there is no shortcuts yeah. for doing the right thing. So if you do want to know when are the base pills or the base powders good, they're good if you need a little pick-me-up in the morning. If you need a little bit of energy on your way to the gym, let's say you're going to go do a heavy workout and you don't want to eat a bunch of food, but you want some energy, you know, taking a few exogenous ketones is good. Do we need them? I'd say probably 90 to 95% of us do not need exogenous ketones. I am not one of those persons that are needing to go to the gym really early and <laughs> I'm going to get a huge workout. Yeah, they make you feel good, but only for a little while. So I would probably save our money and not get them. And again, we love Perfect Keto products. It's just the product that we don't really push because we don't use it that often because we feel like you don't need it. Right. Rachel wrote, Hey, Rachel. Thank you for being such a constant inspiration to us all, especially during this time of chaos and abnormality. Um, I have not been stress eating. I've been keeping myself in check. By Let's the go, way, girl. I'm a flats wing chick too. I'm glad Buffalo Wild Wings is offering two for Tuesdays for pickup during this time. I'm still having to go to work, but thankfully, I only have to work with three other people. Have a blessed week, y'all. And now is the time to count every blessing that you have. Rachel, I love that. I, I couldn't amen that harder. Like, that is so right on. And let me tell you, you are an inspiration to us. Thank you so much for your encouragement and your kind words. We're just really, really thankful for you. And you keep us upbeat. I love Rachel. Rachel is actually a moderator on our live streams and on our channel. And I mean, she only started keto in January. She's had some amazing success, but she was following us for months beforehand, always inspiring people, so always encouraging incredible. people. And she was actually a member of our Facebook family group and joining us on all our live stream because she was just researching. Yeah. And she spent a long time researching to make sure she knew exactly what to do when she started in January. Like she's such an up. I love person, it. Such an inspiration. I love her. You're the best, Rachel. Elizabeth wrote, Hey, Elizabeth. I am so grateful for two things right now. Number one, if I have to be stuck at home for a month or more, then it's with my husband, who I would spend every minute of every day with if I could. How nice is that? Number two, we are both doing keto and we clean the house out of all the non-keto food when we started this. So there is no falling off the wagon. Wow. What are you grateful for? Man, Elizabeth, I'm grateful for you. That is awesome. That is amazing. And please share, how is it going? I'd love to see pictures of you and your husband and, you know, you're just your journey and what you doing for date night. Yeah, I love that. I mean, it's funny because she says like she's stuck at home with her husband. I feel the same way. I love having this opportunity to spend more time with Rachel, even though we already do a lot of work together. Yeah. I mean, it, this is the time of the year where we normally don't get to see each other a lot. I mean, we wouldn't have planned it this way. I mean, I wish it was under different circumstances, but... Right. You know what? I'm still thankful for it. I'm thankful for all of the families that are getting to spend more time together. Mm -hmm. But let us know down below in the comment section. Like she asked, what are you guys grateful for in this time? So with all of the misery that everybody's going through and people being depressed and everything else, let us know some things that you're grateful for. Look back on your life. Look back at what's going on and say like, hey, you know what? I may not have this, but I do have this. Yeah. Karen wrote. Hey, Karen. I'm doing keto for a month now and I've lost 11 pounds. Wow. But my problem is, is that I feel awful every day on this diet. Oh. I am dizzy most of the time. My brain is foggy and I'm having headaches. I've never had headaches before starting this diet. I also feel more lethargic, just so yucky. And my fibromyalgia is worse. To combat these symptoms, I've been drinking electrolytes, more water and taking extra magnesium and it hasn't helped. Does anyone know what can help me? It's almost like my body is not getting something that it needs. And if I can't fix these problems, then I can't continue with doing the keto lifestyle. Oh my gracious. With all the symptoms, again, we are not doctors. No. We're not nurses. We're not health practitioners. 
but I can tell you from all of the research we've done, from all of the trial and error we've done, and, and our own personal experiences, which is pretty much what this channel is about, you're lacking sodium. Sodium is the number one electrolyte that we start lacking, but headaches come from lack of sodium. The dizziness, um, the brain fogginess, that all comes from lack of sodium. I went through it with standing up. I would get like lightheaded yeah. because of my lack of sodium. Now, you do not want to be eating regular table salt though. Yeah. So make sure you're getting yourself a good salt, like Redmond Real Salt is the one that we prefer. Yeah, if you can't get Redmond Real Salt, which is available in a lot of stores, there's also a link down below if you wanna order directly from Redmond, because though you can't really get anything from Amazon right now, all of these companies, the keto companies that I know of right now are currently shipping and shipping out pretty quickly. Like so, Keto Chow? Like Keto Chow, like Redmond. So they're shipping out right away. So get yourself some Redmonds. If you can't get any Redmonds, use some good quality uh, pink Himalayan salt, not the cheap stuff that you can buy like on a dollar store, uh, but just good quality mineral salts and make sure you're taking that. And you're talking about you're drinking a lot of water. Uh, with the water, you need that sodium because if you're not getting enough electrolytes, but then you're drinking a lot of water, you're simply flushing out the electrolytes. Right. So if you're not taking in all that salt, and you're drinking a lot of water, you're getting more and more and more dehydrated. Exactly. <sighs> Pee break. <laughs> okay, where were we? Uh, Kara. Hey, Kara. Kara wrote, I'm pretty much carnivore with the occasional dairy. Uh, well, let's stop right there. That's carnivore. Dairy is carnivore. Cows and goats make milk. If it comes out of an animal, no matter which end, it is carnivore. <laughs> And this isn't just addressed to you. This is addressed to everybody. You see people all the time like, oh, dairy is not carnivore. Dairy is absolutely carnivore. You can ask the strictest carnivore person. Go ask Dr. Barry. You can go ask the strong sisters. I mean, they'll all talk about it. Dairy is carnivore. It's coming from an animal. Right. So don't beat yourself up if you're having some dairy. Uh, so she said, I have lost 30 pounds, but 40 more to get to goal still. 30 pounds is incredible. Incredible, that though. is awesome. Amazing. She said, I get so confused. Should you eat fat if you have a lot of back body fat? Or should you increase fat tox? What is it? Okay. So you want to use fat as a lever. When you first get started on keto, when you first get started like on carnivore, you want to eat a lot of fats because it's going to do two things. Number one, it's going to help fill you up and get from one meal to to the next meal right because a lot of times we're used to eating throughout the day so you want to eat that fat to kind of fill you up and satiate you the other thing it does is it gives your body some fuel because when you're first starting your body doesn't know like hey i'm supposed to be converting fat you're not fat adapted yet yeah so you want to be giving your body all of that dietary fat so that it can quickly start converting it to ketones. It's not going after your body fat. It primes yet. the pump. It primes the pump. Once you get fat adapted, once you start you know, like getting on a regular routine, you can cut back the fat a little bit. Do you have to? No. But if you have a significant amount of body fat to lose, you don't need to eat a lot of dietary fat because your body is going to burn and convert the dietary fat before it goes to your body fat. And I want it headed straight to my body fat, okay? Now, if you are having a problem with getting from one meal to the next, up the fat a little bit. Make sure you're not eating no fat, though. You definitely right. have to have some fat in there. And you don't want to feel deprived. Kavita wrote. Hey, Kavita. I have been stress eating so much because my anxiety has been through the roof. I've been staying keto, but eating so many keto treats. And for some odd reason, I also dropped weight like crazy this week. It doesn't make any sort of sense, but I'm going to take it. Yeah, take the win. <laughs> Don't question it. Yeah, I tend to want to grab those keto treats. I have been stopping myself. And if you're having that issue, just try to hide them from yourself. Lisa said, Hey, Lisa. Hey, 2KK. This time has destroyed all of my excuses for not dusting and getting my office organized. I'm trying to wrangle dust dinosaurs myself. Please pray for me. 
Seriously, <laughs> I cannot believe as I've moved furniture what all I have found. Things that I have lost. I've probably I'm probably up five dollars and change at least <laughs> as I've cleaned in between couch cushions and you know just areas that you normally ignore. And Rachel's not cleaning because she's worried about like you know sanitizing and stuff. She's just cleaning because we never have a lot of time to move furniture and start getting all the dust from underneath. Yeah, like washing the drapes and everything. We need to move our bed. I can't even imagine what it's like I under that know. bed. Because Tabitha, as big as she is, somehow is able to get on her underneath. belly. It's, I almost wish we could have a video camera of her doing this. Because she gets on her belly, stretches her legs out, and crawls under the underneath bed. the bed. And it literally takes her like two minutes to get underneath there. Worming underneath she there. She worms her way and then sleeps under the bed. The funny part is, is then in the middle of the night sometimes she may have to go to the bathroom. And she wiggles her way out and then comes up and she puts her head like right up next to my face and Excuse starts breathing. Me, like, and, but if she's there, at least she's telling us like, hey, I gotta I go, go to the out. bathroom. Because it takes her so much effort to get out from under that bed. Yeah. <laughs> Keto Cindy, keeping it real, over 50 wrote. Hey Cindy. I've been working from home for years, so nothing has changed for me job wise. But I'm totally grateful that being able to work from home for my company. Hubby though is a semi-retired, but was laid off from his part-time job. Though, like you, we are walking in faith that God is our provision and not the job. I've been spending more time reading and studying God's word this time of not running out and about. Slowing down has been a good thing. Yeah, I'm sorry about your husband getting laid off from that job. But, yeah, it's kind of like you get to decide what you fill that extra time with. The running around time. You know, and I think we've all prayed that we'd have more time to slow down. But now we have an opportunity to show what are we going to do with that time? It's here. The time we've been kind of praying for and asking for, it's here. The time with our family, you know, more time of flexibility, it's here. So right. what are we going to do to fill those hours? Right. Are we just going to only watch Tiger King? <laughs> <laughs> or, Maybe. or are we going to use that time to really enjoy our family, spend time with God, you know, or, you know, meditation, however you want to, to use that time. Right. Janice wrote. Hey, Janice. Well, I work at Walmart so far. We are able to go to work and fill all the shelves and get merchandise out. Our delivery trucks are so far making deliveries. We do have limitations on some products, so there is enough for everyone. Praying for everyone to have compassion for each other and to share. Thank you so much for yes. continuing to work and just give us a sense of normalcy in this time. There is a comfort that kind of speaks to that panic when you know, okay, there is still grocery stores. We will be able to continue getting things that we need. It's not like a hurricane season where it's like all, all of right. the stores are closed and suddenly you're like, I hope I have everything because we're on a real lockdown. Right. So thank you for what you're doing. And yeah, I mean, this is an opportunity for us to show kindness to one another. Let's be good people. Right. Take what you need and leave stuff for other people to be able to have. That's right. Alan wrote. Hey, Alan. Hi, I am focusing on drinking more water, which fills me up. So staying on point with my ketovore uh, plan. I'm keeping busy calling all of our parishioners to see if they are well and if they need anything. I love that. Yes. That is awesome. I mean, reach out to your church or, you know, your local synagogue and say like, hey, is there a list, especially of older people mm -hmm. that probably could just use a call, you know, not to, to say, hey, I'm going to go run out and like buy all the supplies that you need for your house, but I can at least provide a conversation, yeah. right? There's probably people getting really lonely. At Some people point. are just getting lonely. Some people just want to see a friendly face. I mean, we actually had a, a teacher in our um, area, like one of the people that goes to our church and put a thing on Facebook, how their daughter's teacher actually called everybody, said, hey, I'm going to drive past your house and honk my horn and wave to you because I miss my students and I want to put a smile on my students' face. So the kids could just go out their front of their house and just like wave to their teacher. And all of those just, you know, Little acts gestures. of kindness, it, it just means so much now. Yeah. Stephanie wrote. Hey, Stephanie. I am on my usual schedule of just being the lady of the house and keeping everything and everyone in check. My daughter is out of work and doing a lot of therapy coloring. She's playing online and helping me out. 
James so far is working as long as the weather permits. His job did text everyone a letter about working since our county is basically on lockdown. The last few days, my snacking has been stress snacking. Today has been back on lock and key and no snacking as of yet and going to try to keep it that way. I love getting to see small peaks of Tabitha in your backgrounds. <laughs> we'll keep everyone in the group in my prayers. Thank you. And yeah, I mean, that is, that's awesome to recognize. Okay, this is something I'm struggling with. And tomorrow, put on lock and key and start over. That's the, the best thing to do. Not yeah. punish yourself, but just like start new and fresh the next day. But if you are a stay-at-home mom, you're, you know, stay at home dad, whatever that situation is where maybe your life hasn't changed or your schedule hasn't changed. Hey, you are providing some normalcy and stability to the other people in your house. So just be an encourager. And, and that's actually an awesome thing. Just having something that's normal. Right. Joe's friend wrote, Hey, Joe's friend. Yes. Just trust God. I know he still holds my future and that helps me worry less about what if I stopped working last year, so my routine hasn't changed that much, ex except for that I'm going to grocery shopping. But my husband is working from home two to three days a week and two to three at work. He's a mechanical engineer at a power plant, so that's kind of essential. We're making a point of ordering takeout a couple of nights a week for some locally owned restaurants to hopefully help them out during this difficult time. Love and appreciate you too as well. Yeah, if you can, if you can afford it, you know, maybe just once a week, try to um, do some, you know, deliveries or uh, order from a local Let's restaurant. Yeah, especially the little mom and pop ones, the little burger diners. shops, diners, pizzerias, places like that, because they're all struggling. And, you know, they're not only are they trying to pay their bills and their electric and not go out of business when this is all over with, but they're trying to keep as many of their employees going as possible. Yeah. And, you know, so if you can just go once a week, if we all just once a week ordered from one of the little local places that would really help all these companies out. Definitely. April wrote. Hey, April. I think doing the live on Thursdays at 830 is a better time. You guys are awesome. And I'm praying for all of those that are affected by this virus. My family is at home together, and I think this is a great thing to know that families need more time together. Families can become stronger by getting through this tough time. Absolutely. Yes. And thank you for letting us do the live stream at 830. It yeah. does help. I mean, that extra hour, hour earlier when we were people that just tend to wake up earlier in the morning, like it's helped, I think, yeah. make us be fresher. There's a few people who talked about that, but yeah, if, you, if you're if new to our channel, we do a live stream every Thursday. We were doing it at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which partially was because we're Patreons with Dr. Barry and he has his Zoom meetings usually at 7. But a lot of times we don't get onto them anyway. Yeah. And so we were delaying our live stream because we wanted to be on that and because of lacrosse and, you know, we're just trying to have all of this work together. So a lot of things have changed. But since we're home and it's just easier for us to do it earlier so we can maybe have some normalcy and get into bed because let's face it, our live streams are normally like an hour and a half instead of the hour that they're supposed to be. Because we can't stop talking. Because we can't stop talking. We love you guys. <laughs> so... Yeah, we're shifting all of our live streams now till 8.30, unless something comes up, which we don't see for the foreseeable future. No. Delissa wrote, Hey, Delissa. I'm definitely ready for another fast. 9.30, by the way, is perfect for me, but whatever works best for you, I will be there. Fortunately, from a financial situation, I am still working, but it is very stressful as our workload has uh, increased due to decreased personnel and social distance practices. Man. I am definitely a flats person for wings. Eggs, bacon, avocado are my go-to meal all day and every day. Oh, yeah. I could eat that every single day. Yeah. That's some of our favorite foods. Flat chicken wings for the win. Sherry wrote, Hey, Sherry. My husband and I are blessed that we are both still working. He works at the jail that I work at. I feel so bad for people who are out of work right now. It's really surreal to me because my life is pretty normal. There is no social distancing at our work, and they are, however, bringing fewer people in, issuing more summons than warrants. I'd love to see you move up your live stream since I have to get up early on Friday. Thanks so much, guys, for another great video. Prayers to all, and take care and be safe. Thank you so much. Well, I'm glad to hear that somebody, at least, it's kind of life as usual. Yeah. For, for the most part. I mean, obviously, a lot of things have changed in, in the whole, you know, as the country as a whole. But I'm glad that some people are able to still, you know, keep 
the schedule. And Sherry, thank you to you and your husband for, you know, being in there in the jails and yes. going in there, especially you're in like confined situations. Yeah. And, you know, you're protecting everybody who is outside. You know, we think about like all of the doctors and the nurses and the healthcare professionals and the police and even the people working in stores, which they're all really important. But I think sometimes out of sight, out of mind, we don't think about like the corrections officers. Oh my goodness. And they're in there with a bunch of people in very small spaces. And, you know, people, like I say, coming in because there's still crimes happening and things like that. Right. We love you and we're praying for you. Yes. Last one. Slap the stick wrote. Hey, Christopher. Today is my first day working from home through all of this. I already know that I'm going to love it. Not having to leave the family for a week and go to work is awesome. And being right next to my kitchen for a lunch break, that's also awesome. But I've decided for this coming week to not track my macros as much because my foods are a lot more complicated than just two ingredients. But the desserts, yeah, I've had too many. I did lose two pounds last week eating chocolate peanut butter cheesecake every day and Yum. some chocolate chip cookies stuffed with chocolate truffles. Oh, wow. But I'm going to lay off the desserts for a bit, I think, now. I think I just gained five pounds reading that you were eating chocolate chip cookies and chocolate truffles. That sounds delicious. It sounded amazing. I need some of that stuff. Send me some of these recipes. Man, that sounds good. But yeah, I like that perspective because there are some really good, beautiful things happening, even in this time of heartache and confusion and stress, you know? So my advice would be look for the good. Right. You know, play the glad game. What are some things that are going on that's really, really good? And if you do have more time with your family, man, just cherish that time. Right. You know, play some new games. There's all kinds of uh, resources online to help you find ideas, you know, to spend time with your family and to enjoy your kids and your husband, you know, and your wife. Just, you know, enjoy that time together. Yeah. Well, guys, that is this week's Keto on the Couch. Uh, we really appreciate you guys tuning in in the midst of everything going on. We appreciate yes. your support. We appreciate you guys sharing our videos, hitting the like, subscribing, joining us on our live streams. We're trying to pop in for our live streams once in a while, just unannounced during the week. I hope you guys like that. Let us know if you want us to continue trying to do that through all of this. Mm -hmm. We're here as much as we can to support you. If you have any questions, any comments, anything like that, leave them down below. You can also go onto our Facebook family group, like we said, and put your wins and your comments and your questions in there. Uh, we do try to be in there as much as possible. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week. Bye. bye.